my friends, and welcome to the BOK in downtown Tulsa. Now, we had practice today for all the teams, but at first I thought the NBA in town, everybody was wearing green. I thought maybe the Boston Celtics were here, but I guess the KU fans outnumbered most. But for the first day inside, let's go to Shaq and Caden. They have day one for us. The NCAA tournament in Tulsa is off to a smashing success today. All eight teams got to come inside the arena, check out the atmosphere, the floor, and better yet, the rims. Yeah, you know, I've been to about seven of these in six different cities, going all the way back to when I was a kid in Albuquerque. This was very well attended, the open practice was, and it takes a lot of local participation to get the kind of numbers we saw. It was good all day long and great for Kansas. And it was free for fans to come in and check it out. And everybody we talked to, very impressed with the arena and our city. I think it's a great town. Uh, we had a nice dinner last Last night, we're staying downtown. Uh, the arena looks marvelous from down the street. Uh, perfect. You know, we, we just had nothing to do today, so we thought we'd come down. Um, didn't have to have tickets to get in. Just come down and see them practicing and see what, what these guys go through uh, the day before their big game. So uh, it's a great opportunity. I think it's pretty cool and just getting to see them before I get to go watch them in a game. Now, the practice session so well attended, a large part of that is a credit to the teams that are here. Memphis. Kansas, Texas, all short drives, and the fans are here to pack the house. Yeah, not just teams that are good at basketball and have been for a long time, but really regional draws. You know, Memphis, just a six-hour drive away. The players saying they expect a really pro-Memphis crowd tomorrow because of that. Our fans can drive here. It's only about like a five-, six-hour drive, so I think that's uh, really good for us. I think it's going to be real good, you know, as far as location goes because the guys from Memphis and all the fans and stuff can drive up. It's not that long of a drive, so it... It possibly could feel like a home game. And we saw a lot of Memphis Tiger shirts in attendance today, a lot of Longhorn shirts as well. And there was one team that had quite a bit of support, and it kind of surprised us. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know OU was here, but Oakland University in the house. And uh, playing Texas, they're going to be the local favorite in this one. Think so, yeah. All right, that wraps it up from inside the BOK. Now let's send it back out to Big Al. All right, guys, thank you very much. Here's a look at the games for tomorrow. It starts at 11-15, Big 12 Texas against Summit League champ Oakland. That's followed by Memphis and Arizona. That should be a great game. Memphis, the Conference USA Tournament champion, and Arizona, the Pac-10 champ. And with number one, Kansas, again, we remind you, a number one has never lost to a number 16. And an 8-9 UNLV against Illinois. This game, one half hour following the Kansas game. I want to give you a ticket update. Some teams have turned in some tickets, so there are more available than we first told you at 5. Close to 3,000 tickets are available for tomorrow's session. All right, the NCAA tournament is underway. We've already had a couple of upsets, including the biggest upset, Moorhead State over Louisville, and Temple beats Big Ten Penn State. Butler beat Old Dominion, and Kentucky squeaked by Princeton. We'll have some highlights for you tonight at 10. We'll have more from the BOK for you tonight at 10. That wraps it up from here. Al Jerkins reporting live from BOK at 3rd in Denver. Let's send it back to the studio. Marla and Jason. Thank you.